two ancient kingdoms. These ones are specifically shown Buganda and Bunyoro. What seemed like Bunyoro, because it was in the west, it was stretching towards the west side. I felt like it was Bunyoro, reaching out to each other. And they make a historic pact. A historic pact. Now, when I first saw what they were doing, in my mind, because I studied history, I understood agreement. Eh? Then the Holy Spirit said, ah, ah, it's pact. So, said, uh -huh. it's your language. So, <laughs> pact. <laughs> You know, a very historic pact. In what was clearly a prophetic parable, this prophecy unfolded at two amazing levels. First, at an international level, Buganda Kingdom welcomed the Emperor Asante Hene of the Asante Empire. This is one of the oldest and grandest kingdoms of West Africa. It was so traditionally wealthy in gold that the country came to be known as the Gold Coast. When the Asantehene of ancient Asante met the Kabaka of Buganda, they shared coffee beans, an ancient Ganda symbol of the Pact of Brotherhood. This pact was sealed as the Asantehene gave gifts of gold to the Kabaka, including a rare and valuable royal stool. Secondly, the prophecy unfolded at the national scene when Buganda Kingdom reached out all the way to Bunyoro Kingdom in a high-level wedding. Bunyoro is currently renowned for its vast wealth in oil and gas deposits. The two traditional enemy kingdoms buried the hatchet when the much-celebrated Katikiro of Buganda, Charles Peter Maega, gave away his daughter's hand in marriage to a Bunyoro elite family. The introduction ceremony saw many dignitaries from both kingdoms meeting in an extremely rare, unprecedented show of brotherhood. The Bunyoro delegation was led by the Katikiro Bunyoro, and they too shared a covenant of coffee beans, thus sealing a historical pact of brotherhood. Ultimately, the pact was sealed in this historical marriage, with the cross-cultural marriage being the ultimate pact between the ancient kingdoms. Then the seventh angel sounded, and there were loud voices in heaven saying, The kingdoms of this world have become the kingdoms of our Lord and of his Christ, and he shall reign forever and ever.